As criticism of my career and how many problems that caused within the dynamic of our relationship, yes. During the Virginia trial, Amber Heard talked about the threats and emotional trauma she experienced after she countered Johnny Depp's $50 million lawsuit with her own $100 million counterclaims. On being asked by her attorney regarding the impact of claims that she fabricated her allegations of abuse, she said, I am harassed, humiliated, threatened every single day. Even just walking into this courtroom, sitting here in front of the world, having the worst parts of my life, things I lived through used to humiliate me. The Aquaman actress recounted receiving threats from people who wanted to kill her and told her so every single day, she said. People want to put my baby in the microwave and they tell me that. But a little throwback disengages that argument unapologetically. Back in 2016, immediately after divorcing Depp, a picture of the actress being touched inappropriately by her lawyer has now emerged, sparking wild reactions across social media. So was Amber just faking her trauma cases to receive public sympathy? Let's find out more. In the early days of the Virginia hearing, a psychologist told jurors that Amber Heard had post-traumatic stress disorder due to physical and sexual abuse at the hands of her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. But a picture of the actress from 2016 circulating online suggests otherwise, especially that of a person claiming to be a victim of domestic and sexual abuse. The actress was caught on camera smiling and rolling her eyes in a resurfaced 2016 deposition, where she was questioned about him hitting Johnny Depp. All this time, her male lawyer kept on adjusting her microphone while inappropriately touching her chest area from time to time. Jurors in Fairfax, Virginia were shown a clip from Amber's 13th of August 2016 deposition in which she's seen listening to an audio conversation between herself and Depp. In the audio, the couple is discussing an alleged fight where Depp repeatedly accuses his wife of punching him. Amber is heard denying punching him, saying that Depp pushed a bathroom door into her toes, so she pushed the door back, striking him in the head. She repeatedly says sorry to her husband. But that is not what's bringing tension after the clip was leaked. As everyone is aware, Amber has consistently claimed to be a victim of sexual and domestic abuse, but her conduct during the deposition paints a different picture. The mother of one is seen allowing her lawyer to touch her inappropriately in public, leaving netizens speculating whether her sexual traumas were actually true or a mere hoax. In Virginia, where Amber eventually lost, Don Hughes, a psychologist, testified that she had diagnosed the Rum Diary star after examining her for 29 hours and reviewing therapy records that she had concluded that Depp engaged in a high degree of violence. Hughes recounted numerous instances of alleged sexual violence, which she said were motivated by Depp's obsessive jealousy and a desire to show dominance. But that thought doesn't really count after watching Amber's deposition video from 2016. Hughes was the first witness called by Amber's attorneys as they began their defense in a $50 million defamation trial. They were seeking to counter the image presented by Depp's lawyers, who portrayed Amber as the abuser in their relationship and maintained that Depp would retreat whenever she instigated fights. In her emotional testimony, Amber told jurors, People want to kill me, and they tell me so every day. People want to kill my baby in the microwave, and they tell me that. I receive hundreds of death threats regularly, if not daily. Thousands since this trial started. She said people were mocking her testimony about being assaulted, adding, I have a right as an American to talk about what happened to me, to own my story and my truth. I have the right. But after the latest picture, a lot of doubt was placed on her emotional rants. Was she really traumatized or was it a sideshow? Feel free to fill that up. Remember that this information is based on theories and opinions and therefore shouldn't be considered facts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.